morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. My Facebook friends. Good morning, guys, good morning. It's day six. Get your work boots on. We got to go to work. It's day six. Are you ready? Good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, brother. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's day six. Are you ready to go to work? All right, guys, I'm coming to you again. I'm coming to you again from beautiful, beautiful, beautiful San Francisco. All right, guys, we're getting started in exactly two minutes. You might want to let your people know that he's back. <laughs> Professor Moss, back at it again. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning, good morning. Here in San Francisco, guys. I see you, Rick. You can drop All right. All right, guys. Excited for you guys this morning. Good morning, good morning. Got a special treat for y'all this morning, guys. Right here in beautiful San Francisco. All right, let your people know that he's back. All right, guys. Listen, today is day six. Going to be another exciting day here. Going to be another exciting day today. So uh, hopefully you've been really getting a tremendous amount of value out of what we've talked about thus far. Because I can tell you one thing. It has been spot on the money. What... Uh, what we've been talking about these last uh, these last five days here on these Facebook live posts so if you're somebody that's in the industry of direct sales or perhaps you are in network marketing and uh, uh, perhaps you are like I said you're in direct sales you are in network marketing and um, you are really trying to figure this thing out once and for all and get yourself to the top of whatever program you're in so that way you can help some people and make some money and take that money and go ahead and put some of that money away and invest that money. <laughs> if that, um, I really hope that you've taken the time to, to watch these last few videos, guys. I tell you, I've given it to you spot on the money. I don't know how to, I can't lay it out any, I can't lay it out any better than what we did. Good morning, good morning. 60 seconds, guys. We're getting started in 60 seconds. So, good morning, good morning. Let your people know we own. While y'all do that, I want to show you something here. For all you people that's talking about, I can't find no people. I just can't find nobody to talk to. Here goes some more people. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're gonna start in exactly 45 seconds look at all of these people guys where do you think they're going you think they're going to work interesting i think they're going to work guys i think they're going to work all right guys 20 seconds guys all right 20 seconds and we starting, guys. So, get ready, get ready, get ready. As I was saying moments ago, if you just joined us, good morning. Welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to the show. All right, guys. As I was saying, I hope you, if you just joined us, guys. I made a promise uh, a week ago that for the next two weeks, I would teach you exactly everything you needed to know to take you straight to the top of whatever network marketing company you're with. I made a promise, you know, I made a promise. I made a promise a little over a week ago that I'd be with you for two weeks and I would teach you exactly what you needed to know on how 
to go straight to the top of whatever company you're with. And I've been teaching this stuff here for the last six days, and we've been doing it in sequential order. I've been teaching you in sequential order. So I hope that uh, you've had a chance to watch these last few videos. If not, they're on, our, they're on my YouTube page. And I just really hope and pray that you take a minute to not only watch it, but to share it with the people you love and share it with the people who you believe could really, really use this information. All right, today is day six, guys. It's gonna be another incredible day again. So I hope you're ready. I just wanna go ahead and do this Facebook Live right here from Union Square. And baby, in five more steps, I'm in Union Square. I'm here. We getting started. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's do it, baby. Welcome to Union Square again. And you got to love the city, man. You just got to love San Francisco. You got to love it, baby. There's no place like it. Got to love it. Some of y'all that are moving real slow in your business, maybe you should come visit San Francisco just so you can be inspired about how to pick up your pace. <laughs> or how to pick up the pace. I got something for you guys as we get started. You see that heart right there? That's how I feel about you. You see that heart right there? That's how I feel about you. I wanted to tell you this morning how I feel about you. You see that heart? That's from me to you. <laughs> Gotta have love for them. Gotta have love for them. All right, guys. Here in Union Square, and it's time to boogie. All right, guys. Let's All right, as they say, let's do this. All right. All right, guys, Union Square, I'm here. Good morning, good morning, good morning, class. <laughs> All right, day six, day six. Let's look at what we got. For those of you that missed day five, day four, day three, day two, day one, rewind the tape, rewind the timeline, or go look at it. Facebook or YouTube, I promise you, you'll be tremendously impacted with the value that's there. So let's go ahead and move on to day six. Day six, guys, I gotta tell you a secret. It was hard to wake up this morning. I woke up literally seven minutes ago. Seven minutes ago. Alarm went off, 7.45. Man, body didn't wanna move didn't want to move I started thinking I made a promise I made a promise I made a promise gotta to stick to your promises so bad news is just woke up seven minutes ago good news is thank God that we got residual income that we can afford to do that did you catch that bad news is just woke up seven minutes ago good news is thank God that we have residual income that I can afford to do that so also, the other good news is it's still going to be incredible what we're about to talk about today. So tired, tired, tired. Had a long night last night. Very exciting night last night. A lot of great things happening, but uh, nevertheless made a commitment. And remember, commitment is doing what you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. I hope you catch that. All right. Day six, guys. Let's kick this thing on off. Let's do this thing. All right. All right. Yesterday we talked about we talked about uh, prospecting and recruiting. We talked about recruiting. We talked about recruiting. We talked about recruiting. We broke that thing down. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna recover that, but we broke it down yesterday on how to literally get your 12 people sponsored within the next 30 days or less. Okay. We broke that thing down. Okay. So yesterday was a great day. Today, guys, I'm gonna talk to you about being the rainmaker being the rainmaker basically getting people started right getting people started right hey maria good to see you girl 
Um, today we're going to talk about getting people started right. You are the rainmaker. I want you to understand something, guys. You are the rainmaker. Let me first of all tell you what the rainmaker is. I don't care what company you're in. It doesn't matter if you've been in for one day or 50 years. It doesn't matter. The moment you sign up a new person, the moment you sign up a new person, I don't care what company it is you're in, your job is to help that person get off to the right start. Your job is to help that person get started right. Let me say that again. I don't care what company you're in. Do you hear me? I don't care. It doesn't matter. Your job when you sign up a new person is to get them started right. What you do to them is what they're gonna do to other people, okay? Let me say that one more time. I don't care what company you're in, your job is to get your people started right. And that's called, you're the rainmaker. Your job is to make it rain for them. In other words, their job as a new person, a part of the family, is to put you in front of the people whether it's a conference call, whether it's face-to-face, -face, their job is to put you in front of their people. That's their, that's their job. Your job is to make it rain for those people. Your job is to make it rain. Making, and making it rain is you're the one that's going to share the vision, okay, about what it is, where you're going with it, and what's in it for them. Your job is to make it rain. In other words, if you were to sign me up in your business, my job is to get you some people right away. My job is to get you some people to talk to, whether it's conference calls, whether it's meetings, whether it's Zoom, whatever it is. And then your job is to get me started right, to help me get started right, to basically make it rain. You are the rain maker. Give me a thumbs up if you understand what I'm saying to you. I want to know that everybody understands the terminology that we're saying when we say, make it rain I don't care what company you're in guys it doesn't matter you could it doesn't matter what company you're in it's all the same every company I've been a part of I've always gone straight to the top okay all right so I want you to get this your job is to make it rain for your people the moment you sign up a person they're they're brand new all they're supposed to do is basically put you in front of people. They're going to put you in front of some people, whether conference, whether it's one person or whether it's 100 people. That's their job, is to put you in front of the people. Your job is to make it rain. You're the rainmaker. You are the rainmaker. Can you make it rain, baby? Can you make it rain? Can you make it, can you make it rain? You got to make it rain. 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 Now listen. If your people continuously put you in front of people the first few times and you don't make anything happen, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be very hard to keep those people involved in the business because they're gonna think, man, I put you in front of some people and I introduced you to some people and you know, I put people on the call, I had people come over to the house, you know, I, I, you know, I, I introduced you to my people and man, you didn't make, nothing happened. Nothing happened, nothing happened. Being honest, folks. Yikes. Well, that's true. It's very true. When they put you in front of people, it's your job to make it rain. Now, I'm going to show you how to make it rain one more time. I'm going to show you in just a minute. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. The Cali kid got you, baby. Just because I'm tired don't mean, I, don't, don't mean I'm going to leave you hanging. I got you, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. I got you covered, don't worry. But I need you to understand this class. I need you to understand this. You gotta understand, your job is to make it rain, okay? I'm gonna drive this in, okay? I am very, very, uh, in terms of getting people started right, that is a big deal. Listen, if you don't teach a person how to get started the right way, then you can never be upset with them when they don't get their people started right. Let me say that again. When you don't teach a person how to get started the right way, then you cannot be upset with them when they don't teach their people how to get started the right way. 
okay? So it's kind of like, I want you to imagine if you were a parent and you had a son or a daughter, your job is to instill the proper mor morals, the proper values into your children, okay? And your hope is that because you've instilled the proper morals and values in them, that they will do the same or better for their children, okay? It's the same thing in network marketing. It's the same thing in direct sales. You have to lead by example. No excuse. No excuse. Listen, I love this profession. I love this profession, guys. I love it. But I want you to understand, I do not have any respect for any man or woman in this profession who does not lead by example. I do not respect anyone that does not lead by example. You have to lead by example. I will never ask my team to do something that I'm not willing to do. I will never try and teach my, my team something that I don't know. Remember, you can't give somebody something that you don't have. You cannot give someone something that you don't have. You can't give what you don't have. So here's the deal. You have to understand how to make it rain. Listen, I'm talking to all of you. Some of you guys out here writing all these fancy comments, wonderful. But listen, you need to take some notes and listen. This is not a chime in session where I need more than one teacher. I trust me, I got this. And unless you pass me up on the resume, on, on the results charts, I got this. I can handle this. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> so I want you to understand, guys. Listen, I'm going to break this thing down. But the first thing you've got to accept, the first thing you've got to accept, the first thing you've got to accept is your job. When you sign up a new person, they're going to, put, they're, they're going to get the people. Your job is to make it rain, okay? That's your job, period, end of story. Now, you don't, with the new person that you've signed up, guys, you don't have to hold their hand for five months. No, 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 no. You just want to get them. You just want to get them started the right way. Maybe, maybe, maybe two to four meetings. Maybe two to four meetings. Maybe, maybe two to four meetings, more than enough. Okay. Some people only need one or two meetings for you to do for them. Okay. Two to four meetings. Two to four meetings should be more than enough. If you're keeping it simple. Okay. Now. Give me a thumbs up if you've accepted responsibility that you are the rainmaker. I want to know, all these people that's listening this morning, I want to know, thumbs up here, if you have accepted that you are the rainmaker. What's up, Brad? I see you, baby. Beautiful San Francisco. Hey, by the way, that's my favorite store right there. You see that store? Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm going to give you guys a special bonus this morning. Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay. Saks Fifth Avenue. You see that right there? I got the camera right on it. Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay. I'm going to give you a special bonus this morning. Okay. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a special bonus this morning. All right. Now, before I before I teach you exactly how to make it rain, okay? I'm going to give you a special treat. Saks Fifth Avenue is my favorite store. Now, I got something for the men. And I got something for the women, for the women. I'm going to do this because I'm a nice guy. And I believe in sharing. I'm not stingy. Now, listen, if you can't afford this right now, put this on your dream list or put this on your dream board because you got to get this, what I'm about to give you. I want you to go to Saks Fifth Avenue. It's going to cost you $1,200 USD. $1,200, okay, $1,200, okay, so if you can't afford that right now, just put it on your dream list, because you got to have it, you got to get it, go to Saks, and you're going to go to the fragrance counter, and you're going to tell them that you want Clive Christian, number one, Clive Christian, number one, the name of the, the, name of the fragrance is called the most expensive cologne in the world, the most expensive perfume in the world. It's by Clive Christian. It's called the most expensive cologne in the world. You want the number one, Clive Christian number one. 
It's in the gold bottle. They have it for men and they have it for women. It's $1,200, okay? But trust me, I know some of you said, $1,200, what? I understand, just trust me. Go in there and sample it and I promise you, you'll be trying to call me saying, OMG, OMG, oh my God, oh my gosh. It is absolutely amazing. I'm just telling you right now, I'm trying to take your game to the next level. I'm trying to take you to the next level. And some of y'all men, oh, I don't wear no Clive Christian. I don't want that, honey. I've been wearing Brute for 30 years. I love my Brute. I love my Brute. Brute? You still wearing Brute cologne? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come to the party, baby. Nobody wearing no Brute no more. Listen, I'm just telling you, put this, write this down on your dream board. I'm just, just trust the Cali kid. I got you. I got you covered here. I'm trying to help you out. It's off the chain. That's all I wear. I wear it every day. I'm telling you right now, it's incredible. Well, I'm not a real big cologne guy. Buy it anyway. I'm telling you, once you buy it, your life will change. Your life's going to change. Your life is going to change. All right? It's for women and for men. Trust me, I wear them both. They off the chain. Woo! Back to the storyline. Let's get back to work here, all right? All right, so. All right, guys. Now, we just talked about making it rain. That's what we just talked about. We just talked about your job is to make it rain. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna share with you exactly how you make it rain. And some of you are gonna say, wait a minute, I've heard this before. I'm gonna share with you exactly what you do when your new distributor that you've enrolled puts you in front of their people, via conference call or in person. I'm gonna share with you exactly what you do. It's very simple. All you're going to do, because remember, you're the rainmaker, you're going to share with them the vision. Now, what is the vision? We talked about this yesterday, but the vision is what is it, where you are going with it, and what is in it for the prospect. Say that one more time. The vision is what is it, where you're going with it, and what's in it for them. That is your job, to share the vision. Share the vision. Share the vision. You want to become a really, really good rainmaker? Become very good at sharing the vision. Become very good at sharing the vision. Become very good at sharing the vision. 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 I know you don't want to keep hearing me repeat it, but I'm going to do it anyway because you need to get it. You want to go to the next level? It's not knowing more details. It's refining your vision, becoming really good at sharing the vision, 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 sharing the vision. That's how you go to the next level. You are the rainmaker. You are the rainmaker. Your new person's job is to put you in front of people and your job is to make it rain. Make it rain, baby. Your job, your job is to make it rain. That's your job. You're the rainmaker. And the way you make it rain is you share the vision. And the vision is what is it? Number one. Number two, where are you going with it? And number three, what's in it for the prospect? It's that simple. I don't care what company you're in. I don't care if you've been one day on the job or you're 100 years on the job. Any company I've ever gone to, I go straight to the top and it's always gonna be that way, you understand? Always gonna be that way, always gonna be that way. And my wish for you is that's what I want for you. That's what I want for you. I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're Asian, I don't care if you're young, middle class or old, I wanna teach you how to do this thing right. That way you can get this money off your, get this money monkey off your back. 
I want to show you how to do this thing. It doesn't matter what company you pick. I don't care about no company. And the reason why I say I don't really care about the company, I, of course I care, but I don't. Look, do I own the company? Do you own the company? All right, then. Neither one of us own the company. So what's most important is that you understand that you own your brand. And you know what you, listen, write this now. You know what you want your brand to be uh, known for? One word. Let me tell you, you want you, this is what you want your brand, your personal brand, to be known for. I'm going to tell you right now what you want your personal brand to be known for. Some of you think, well, I want my personal brand to be known for love, and I want my personal brand to be known that, you know, I'm funny, and, you know, and I'm cool, and, and you know, and I'm just, uh, I'm a nice girl, I'm a nice guy. No, 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 no. No. You want your personal brand to be known for one word, success, period, exclamation point. That's what you want to be known for, guys. Success, period. You want to autograph your work with excellence. Success. You want to be known for whatever he or she does, man, that boy always wins. That girl, she always wins. I don't know how in the heck she does it. Man, I don't know. But all I know is every time I see that girl, she wins. Every time I see that boy, he wins. Every time I see that woman, she wins. Every time I see that man, he's a winner. That's what you want to be known for. That's what you want to be known for. You want your brand to be synonymous, synonymous. Yeah, for all you big word people out there, you like to see, you like vocabulary, you want to, let me see how well you can talk. Let me see your vocabulary, synonymous. <laughs> all you people out there that, uh, that, 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 that are a little confused on how this thing really works, you want your brand to be synonymous with one word, success. That's it, period, 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 period. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want. Okay? So, now, again, it's real simple. Real, real simple, guys. It's real simple. This is real simple. You are the rainmaker. Accept the responsibility that when you enroll someone into your team, I don't care what company you're in, doesn't matter. I don't care if it's direct sales, network marketing, don't matter. When you enroll someone into your team, I want, you, I want you to understand that that is a new person that has joined your family and it is your job, your job, nobody else's, it's your job to make it rain. It's your job to get them started right. That's your job. If you don't get them started right, then you can't be upset if they never finish right. Always remember this, true wealth reveals itself to those that are patient enough to teach others. True wealth only reveals itself to those that are patient enough to teach others. True wealth only reveals itself to those that are patient enough to teach others. So I hope you understand this, guys. Your job is to be the rainmaker. How do you make it rain? You share the vision. Share the vision, the vision, the vision, the vision. I didn't say the details, the vision. Some of you, you're still selling details. You're still selling products. Products don't, don't move people. Remember that, products don't move people. It's people that move products. The vision, the vision, the vision, the vision, the vision, the vision, the vision. Remember, amateurs sell products, professionals sell vision. Vision, vision. Where are you going with this thing, okay? Where are you, what is it? Where are you going with it? And what's in it for the prospect? I'll say it again. What is it? Where are you going with it? And what's in it for the prospect? What is it? Where are you going with it? And what's in it for me? That's what they're thinking. Share the vision. Share the vision. Well, how do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? Guys, go listen to day one, then listen to day two, then listen to day three, then listen to day four, then listen to day five, and then re-listen to this one again on day six. And if you'll take the time to do that, I promise you, you will know exactly how to share the vision. I just told you the three elements that have to be included in your vision. What is it? Where are you going with it? And what's in it for the prospect? Okay? 
So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, class, the bell is about to ring. Get your book bag. Get your sandwich. Get your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it's getting ready to be time for lunch. So, show me a thumbs up if you guys understand everything we talked about this morning. And I want to make sure you get this stuff, guys. One more time before we get out of here, guys. That heart is from me to you. That heart is from me to you. You get it? All right, guys. It's time for me to get the breakfast of champions right now. All right, guys. Listen, we're going to do this again one more time tomorrow. And then you won't see me for about another week because I will be up in the air or across the water. Listen, guys, always remember, in all that you do, there's nobody in the world any greater than you. I hope you take the time to go out and replay the tape and listen to day one, two, three, four, five, and six. That way you can learn what you need to learn and you can apply it. I made a promise. I was gonna teach you exactly what you needed to take you straight to the top of your company. And all you gotta do is even though we have a good time and you know, I really enjoy being myself and we have a good time and you know, we laugh and you know, I hope you pay attention to the wisdom of what you're being taught. I hope you really get uh, the wisdom of what's being taught. Don't get all caught up in the, the comedy and you know, we have a lot of fun, this is true, but having fun is great, but you need to understand the principles, the philosophies, and the skills so that you can actually change your life right now, okay? So, just remember, just remember, just remember, just remember, you can do this. Yard by yard, it may be hard, but inch by inch, it's a cinch. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. You can do this, guys. All right? Share this information with somebody you love, somebody you care. I'll see you tomorrow on day seven. Day seven. Day seven tomorrow. I'll see you. All right, guys. This is the Cali Kid from California, San Francisco. I'll see you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Send this message to somebody you love and care for. All right, guys. See ya. Love you guys. Bye-bye.